Hey guys, what's going on? It's Louie Louie here, and today I have a new type of video that I'm really excited to start doing. Uh, I'm going to be doing some VOD reviews, so the way it works is you guys send me clips or matches that you want me to analyze, and I'm basically going to take a look at them live and make some comments, um, try to point out some things, um, and basically just overall try to help you with your game. If you'd like to have one of your clips VOD reviewed, then shoot me an email, um, in um, and I'll have my email listed in the description um, so without further ado let's get into the video this is a match between um, two people I know uh, Kenny Niesel and Brendan Ma and Kenny was actually the person that sent me this video and he told me he was having an off day during this match so he was making a lot of um, kind of unforced errors mechanical mistakes but I'm not going to focus too much on those because those are the types of mistakes that you can fix just with more training, um, the more you train, the more consistent you're going to be. So if I see some like really bad mechanical errors, I'll point them out. But I'm not just going to focus on that. I'll try to focus also on the strategic aspect of the game and um, the mental aspect and basically anything else I see. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll make a couple comments throughout the game. And then I'll give my overall thoughts on what could be improved at the end. Um, that was good anticipation right there. Um, for the counter loop. And that ball's got to be looped. That's a long push to the forehand. Nice. Okay. So the right idea on that shot. Um, just poor execution. Uh, I've, uh, that's a, the second or third serve I've seen from Kenny that's just been too high, a little bit bouncy. Um, Want to make sure you... Um, and again, right there, serve is too long, too bouncy. Um, and of course he missed the block, but he wouldn't be in that situation if the serve was just a little bit higher quality. Um, good serve return there. Um, he's had that opportunity for the forehand counter loop um, a few times. Uh, that's something I definitely want to touch on. There's a slight problem with the technique um, on the counter loop with that elbow um, and kind of how sharp the shot is. That's a much better surf. Um, but that ball's got to be looped. That ball right there. Yeah. That one drifted a little bit long. Brandon picked up on it. Good loop. Again, long ball to the forehand, that needs to be looped. At least to go for the shot. Even if you're missing, you gotta get in the habit of when the ball is long to your forehand, not too heavy, you've gotta go for those loops. Um, just be aggressive. If you miss, you miss. But go for that shot, for sure. Better block, but again, the serve is a little bit high, a little bit bouncy, so he's basically letting Brandon into all of these points he's not giving himself a chance to loop like again they're long serve let's brandon loop first and then he doesn't even have a chance to play his shots um that's a much much better counter loop much more stable better form um he's had that set up multiple times throughout this game just a little miss it there those types of misses by the way um you do want to avoid them. The higher level players are never going to make those types of unforced errors. But when they do happen, you can't think about them too much. Um, you have to let it go and just keep thinking about your strategy. If you get tilted from one point, that's going to carry over for the rest of the game, the rest of the match. It's going to be hard to play. Um, again, he gets away with a long push to Brandon's forehand. But you can see he's going for that loop. And he loses control of the point every time Brandon connects again there. The push is too long so a few things first of all um there were some good things good anticipation um not too many unforced errors the biggest problem for me was shot selection and the second biggest problem was the counter loop yeah here it was here it was um so on this counter loop i'll put it in slow motion so you can see um so he pushes long cross court he gets the predictable loop. That's a pretty high quality push right there. Here, his paddle is pretty much in the right spot. And for this shot, you want to follow that plane. Um, kind of the angle your racket is creating. You need to follow that. 
throughout the entire shot um, so that it's stable. But you'll see what ends up happening, and it happened a few times, is the elbow ends up popping up way above the paddle once the paddle is in front of the elbow, and you never want that to happen. And then additionally, um, can you come across your body, um, which again makes the shot less stable. You're putting unnecessary side spin on the ball, and it takes away from the consistency. And you can see, I think this ball misses out. So right there, um, you can see the elbows come up. The paddle needs to be way, way higher. It should be probably around your left eyebrow and your elbow should be lower kind of where it is now but instead the elbows popped up paddles come across the body so there's no stability behind that shot and so because of that it misses out um later in the game you played a much better one um i don't know if i can find it Let's see if i can find it really quickly here's another example of the elbow just coming up um form kind of breaking down there coming across the body you want to make sure you go through the ball not across the ball and again on those counter loops paddle needs to be finishing higher close to the left eyebrow um but yeah let me let me see if i can find the clip where he had a really good one where the form was way sharper all right here it is here it is i found it so the form was still a little bit not, not as sharp as i would have it but it's a little bit better and you can see the shot is immediately better so here this is the same combination you've been going for the whole game so under spin serve you push long cross court you get the predictable loop and here look where your paddle is your paddle is above your elbow it's not quite high enough but it's better you didn't come across the ball as much so your shot connected it was also much higher quality right on the white line and you gave brandon a tough time and then aside from that um last thing i'd really point out from that game is there are a lot of long balls to your forehand like i think even on like the second point um you got a long ball to your forehand where you could have just looped it and you pushed it instead and i saw this a few times like right there that ball needs to be clobbered it's no spin long a little bit high to your forehand you can rip that ball no fear always go for those shots other than aside from that just service was a little bit loose but yeah let's let's move on to the second game and see what happens that serve um return this has happened a couple times as well just making that short push that serve is coming long, 100%. So the reason you're missing is because you're rushing, stepping into a long ball. You want to make sure you let the ball bounce and then push. That was a better return. Um, just um, spinny shot from Brandon. Didn't quite connect on the counter loop, but nothing wrong with that play. Good long serve. Um, you anticipated stepping around right, but the footwork was a little bit slow and you didn't step around all the way so if that ball comes deeper into the corner you're going to be really jammed you can see as you stepped your right leg moved first and it needs to be the other way around anytime you're moving in table tennis whichever direction you move the other leg moves first so if you're trying to move to your right the left leg needs to come in first and then the right leg comes out that way you're going to be balanced um, and you're not going to be in this situation where you're jammed and kind of uncomfortable in that shot unless it comes right where you want it to go. Yeah, those serves, a little bit loose still. Um, I can tell you were expecting a third ball on them. When Brandon looped, you weren't quite ready to block because you thought the serve was going to be short. A little bit of a misread on the serve there. Um, when it's top spin, top side, you don't have to do any fancy flips to return it. You can just drive it um, with good placement. If you are going to push it, make sure you let the ball bounce um, and you cut down on it a little bit to keep it low. Nice combination. That time, I think the serve was deliberately long. You're ready for the loop. Good movement on your blocks and then good way to finish. Right idea there again good half long serve but the same thing on the counter loop the elbow comes up and you're hitting way across your body look where you're finishing paddle is here elbows up here um paddle needs to be up here um and in front of you otherwise this shot is not going to be stable um this is kind of a mechanical issue but also if you don't know about it then it's kind of hard to pick up on but yeah the anticipation there the the play is right there's nothing wrong with the play there, just just execution. 
you also don't have to go for too much power. Um, if you're in a game and you notice your counter loop's missing, there's nothing wrong with blocking. Like if you block that ball to this corner right here versus counter looping it there, this it's gonna have pretty much the exact same effect. So replay this one more time. Brandon right here is so far out of position that a slow block to this corner is gonna win you the point. Almost guaranteed. If Brandon returns, this is going to be a high lob cross court, and then you can put it away right there. You don't have to kill the ball every time to try and put the points away, unless you know you've got that shot. Perfect, perfect. That was a very good serve receive, good anticipation, much better form on the counter loop as well. And I like that variation too. You moved your push to the middle. Um, but right now, Brandon's still in control of the match. You're pushing long a little bit too much. There's nothing wrong with pushing long, challenging your opponent, letting them loop, playing the counter loop game. But you don't want to do it 100% of the time because it becomes too predictable. So even though you move that ball, Brandon's able to kind of just sit there, spin that up heavy. And again, with the counter loop, elbow came up again. Um, again but this is a difficult shot to execute. And so Brandon's putting all the pressure on you instead of the other way around. So I'd say sometimes mix in a short push or push really wide to the forehand instead of to the middle and to the back end. If you notice your opponent stepping around, then pushing wide this way is one of the most effective things you can do because it's going to cause an even weaker slow loop. Um, so yeah, just mi mix up those pushes a little bit more. Um, they don't need to be in the same spot, same length every time. Yes, a loop. But overall, again, strategy is not bad. Um, just execution on that counter loop. Form needs to be really sharp to play that shot. Great surf, great surf. Um, good third ball combination as well. Um, I really like that play. If I were you, I'd double up on it. Um, good serve as well. You jammed Brandon. Um, and you were ready for the next shot as well. So if someone is popping up a serve in table tennis, you want to keep giving them that serve until they prove they can hit it because you're just getting free third ball attack after third ball attack. And until they prove they can flip that or do something other than push it really high, you want to just keep exploiting that. So every time you've served short, kind of light, wide to the forehand right here or a little bit out, you've been getting these slower, high receives. So you have to make sure you pick up on that and keep exploiting it throughout the match. If it's not broken, you don't necessarily need to fix it. Um, just a little unforced error there. Make sure you're watching. Serve, receive. Yeah, yeah. that's a better counter loop. Um, and again, the serves to the forehand um, are proving to be really effective. It's just about that execution on the counter because you know where the ball is going every time um, and if I were Brandon I would try to loop that ball more to the middle down the line yes! it's another good counter loop um, it did land and that was to take the game but again a little bit too flat so let me slow down the video a little bit look at the elbow paddles a little bit higher but still elbows way across the body that was almost a complete slap instead of a loop so it's high risk high reward but when someone's looping that spinny you want to try and get on top of the ball just a little bit add your own rotation because then if you do miss hit you're going to have that safety of the top spin bringing it down onto the table if you miss hit and you're slapping um then yeah! the point's over but overall good game um solid strategy um, and better execution than the first game um, so let's see if you can maintain it in the third game Let's see what happens I think right there let me watch that again that push is loopable as well um, so those pushes that you're missing in the net they're either um, they're not quite as short as you think they are so you're coming in and almost covering the ball too early and it's going in the net make sure you let those balls bounce a little bit um, especially if you're trying to push long if you're trying to push short, you want to take it off the balance, be in quick, don't hesitate. But if you're trying to play the long game, let it balance, let it come out, see if you can loop it. If not, then you can still jab it long. Um, there's no need to rush on those balls. Right idea on the serve. That's kind of where I would be serving too as well. 
good surf, um, good surf receive, good recognition. You got exactly what you were looking for, but then again on the forehand, the elbow, way up here, and the paddle down here, hitting across the ball. That I would say is biggest mechanical problem I'm noticing right now. I know you said you were having an off day, timing was off, but um, feeling was maybe off. But the problem with that form is when your feeling's on, it's great. When your feeling's off, it's going to start missing like this. And you want to have form technique, which can kind of loop the ball for you so that when you have bad feeling, you can just go back to your mechanics and know that you can hit the ball stable and keep it on the table. Um, but yeah, anticipation is there. You're reading the ball well and you're getting the opportunities you want. Um, not quite enough execution. And then also something I picked up. Again, good good anticipation there, but you're playing the same shot or the same point almost over and over again. Um, I would say, especially against someone who's higher level than you, try some variation. See if there's something that they just don't like. It seems like right now, you're just determined to get your forehand on every ball. Like You want your forehand to land. And so you're setting up every point with the mentality of where this ball comes, I'm going to play my forehand instead of kind of thinking, what does Brandon not want me to do? What, what can I do to get an easy pop up? Where is he making the most mistakes? Instead, you're thinking kind of what am I doing wrong and just trying to fix that. But you got to make sure you're thinking about both aspects of the game. Um, let's see what happens. Again, that push is long, um, loopable. Yeah, very, very loopable. And I get wanting to play the counter loop game, but if it's to your forehand, that shot has got to be a winner, or at the very least, a strong opening loop. Much better, much better. That's exactly what you want to do. So generally, if you're playing the long game, like letting them loop and then trying to counter loop, so you can see right here, Long push, you want you want Brandon to loop and play the counter loop. He pushes it back. Once he pushes your long push back, then you want to start looping. You never want to take a long push and push it back. So one attempt at this is fine. But this ball, exactly, you want to loop. And the form was much sharper there as well. So cleaner shot. A uh, little bit too jumpy on the server turn. Um, let the ball bounce, take your time. You'll notice a lot of these serves are long um, and loopable. And there, that's the the very first point of the game. Um, we're at 7.02 right now. Similar point, and Brandon's loop was low quality, so you got away with not moving as much. Here, you try the same thing. And Brandon's loop is much higher quality in the corner, so you get jammed on the shot. And again, that goes back to the footwork. Um, you know it's coming in this area because Brandon hasn't gone down the line a single time. So you can pre-step around this corner and just make sure that your left leg is moving first when you're moving to the right so that you're balanced and um, ready for the shot. And if you don't think you can step around in time, since you know it's coming here, you can bait out this loop and then just block down the line with your back end. You don't necessarily have to step and counter loop every shot but yeah strategies there you know where the ball's going so and not bad just um some trouble executing a little miss it on the surf it's a few serves this match that have just gotten away Again on that serve, the miss there is not really because of mechanics or anything. It's kind of shot selection. You don't need to take that ball right off the bounce and play it as early as you are. It's coming very long. You can let it bounce, let it come out, um, and play a much more stable shot. Or you can just block that ball down the line. You can see right after this serve, um, Brandon's anticipating a cross-court return. So if you go down the line just with like, not even a block, just like tap it down the line right here, that's going to cause a lot of disruption and a lot of trouble. Got away with a little bit of a high serve there, but placement and spin was good. That's a much, much better serve. Every time you've done that serve, you've had an opportunity to loop. 
on the forehand. It seems like you're comfortable letting Brandon Lupin counter looping. So again, that first push is okay. If he pushes that back, make sure you're ready to loop. But honestly, I think you can just loop that ball right away once it comes along to your forehand. Right idea. Um, same play you've been setting up the whole match and again, elbow comes up, panel comes across your body. So that form, once you can get it sharp, even if you feel like you're going to miss, just force yourself to play with a sharper form, finish by your left eyebrow, um, and good things will start to happen. You're going to have that shot start to connect. Again, um, elbow came up a little bit too high. But once that counter loop's missing, so, so this is what I'm talking about. Right now, you're determined. You, you know your counter loop's missing, and you're like, okay, I really want to fix this shot, and if I fix this shot, I'll win the match. So you're going for the same point over and over again. If the shot lands, great. If it misses, you're losing the point. But there's no change in strategy. You've done this push long to the back end almost every point. Um, and then kind of 50 50 the counter loop. Why not push long across the court or push long to this corner and see what happens? Or push short to the middle or push half long really out wide. Um, because almost every push right now has either been to this corner or to the middle. And Brandon's picking up on that. And credit to him, his loops are spinny, they're high quality, they're deep. Um, so you're kind of putting yourself in a losing situation when you could be mixing it up a little bit more um, and trying different things. And then again, if the counter loop game is not working, you need a plan B. Why don't you try looping first? See if Brandon has an answer to that. See if he can counter loop and block you. If not, then you keep looping. But let's move on to the last game. Let's see what happens. And I've played Brandon before, credit to him as well. His serves are extremely spinny, um, high quality serves. Yeah, and again, it's the same strategy. It's not working. Maybe you're having a bad day. Um, and that happens. All players have a bad day. But when you're having a bad day, you need to have a plan B. Something needs to change. Um, but every point right now, it's just like a push cross court, a loop. You go for the counter loop. It either lands and you win the point or it misses and Brandon wins the point. Couple on four stairs. Yeah, again, same thing. Brandon is just sitting on this ball right now. Literally a long push right to this corner. You'd probably just outright win the point. Because he's sitting right here expecting the loop every single time right now. See? Perfect, perfect. He's sitting right here waiting for the shot. He's almost stepped around immediately. And that's right into... The wheelhouse again, serve a little bit high, a little bit bouncy, but yeah, just some shot selection issues. And yeah, top spin serve, you can just let the ball bounce on that, let it come to you. And you don't have to kill it, you can just drive it, cross for it down the line. Um, yeah. Again, those, that shot is kind of just like a 50-50. Um, rolling the dice, hoping it lands, um, and that can turn into like, uh, like my counter loop is super consistent, and yours can be too. It just needs to be sharper form. Anthony, let me hit a few of them. Let me hit a few of them. Nice placement from Brandon, actually. Um, that was a good change-up. Um, threw Kenny off, threw you off, but other players are entitled to play well as well. Yeah, right now, I mean, it's the same point over and over again. And there are some mechanical issues going on, but I would say you just need... Overall, more variation in your game. Um, again, there's another one. Just long push to the back end. You're letting him loop. And you're going for the counter loop. You're so focused, um, almost tunnel visioned, on landing your forehand counter loop that you've forgotten about every other aspect of the game. And again, when you're playing bad, that can happen. Like, sometimes I'm playing and my back end misses. So I'm like, okay, I'm determined to land my back end. And wherever the ball goes, I'm looping my back end. And then I totally forget about my other strategy. But, um, yeah, overall... 
I saw a lot of good things. Um, credit to Brandon. He's a good player. Um, he played well. But, Kenny, I think main things, one, serve needs to be a lot tighter. A lot of bouncy serves, a lot of long serves. Um, and if you can minimize those mistakes, um, good things will start to happen because you just have more opportunities to play. Um, when the ball is coming long to your forehand, you've just got to loop those balls. It has to be automatic. Recognize that it's long to your forehand and loop. You shouldn't really be pushing long when it's long to your forehand. If it's to your backhand or it's short, yeah, go ahead, push long, push short. But long to your forehand, you've got to open on those shots. And then strategically, um, you started off well. You were anticipating, but you didn't change um, once Brandon kind of adapted to your strategy. You could have just pushed um, to the opposite corner. You could have pushed short. You could have tried looping first, but you kept going for the same point over and over again. And when it wasn't working, you kept going for it, which is um, something that's it's, it's easier to say change your strategy than it is to actually change your strategy especially if you go into the game with some plan and it's not working but it's just something you've got to force yourself to do but yeah um that pretty much does it for this vod review um i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want me to review one of your clips matches training videos anything really um then again shoot me an email i'll have it in my description make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to help me out uh, we're on the way to 5k subscribers. Hopefully I hit that soon. And I will see you guys next time. Adios.